What you giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I got tired to, 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 to. And this morning at 3 a.m., Libra, it's your turn. Your turn for getting me up out of my bed. So let's get to your reading, family. Good morning, Libra. As you can see, we have the infamous three in one, three in one people coming to read your energy at 3 a.m. See you are going for the collective of Libras in the month of September and going into 2020. See you are going for your love, finances, spirituality, all of that. Whatever comes up, I relate to you lot. No filter, as you know. I will do that for you people, especially at 3 a.m. You're gonna get it. Free it. <laughs> no holes, bars. No filter. So yeah, I will not be shuffling the packs again, because I've shuffled them, and it takes too long, people. So let's see what your base energy is. Acceptance. Finally, Libra. Finally, you are accepting those things that you just cannot change. How amazing. You're the first sign to really just stand up and say, you know what? Fuck it. I got what I got in it. I got to make the best of what I have. And I see that's what you're doing. Like, basically, you're making the best. If it's a little bit of food, you're making the best of it. If it's a little bit of money, you're making the best of it. If it's that shit job, you're making the best of it. But I see that you're accepting where you're at. You're accepting yourself. And you're accepting those things that you cannot change. I bet you've been going through a period of struggling. You've been depressed. Going through your dark night of the storms. Your whole life's been disrupted. Especially because of this COVID-19. For some of you don't know which way is up. It's affecting your body. This person has pains in their body now. Their mental stresses, their emotional stresses, the things that they're not releasing has now taken toll on their body. It's probably showing up with you. Pains in your joints, pains in your back, headaches, pains in the chest, in the heart. Because your heart chakra is blocked. I see someone having migraines. Really, really bad migraines. This is because you're not accepting those things that you cannot change. You're holding on to your past. You're certainly not letting go and releasing. It's time for you to accept those things. Release them. Transmute them. Turn those lessons into blessings, people. It's time to let stop letting your past disrupt your future. Because for a lot of you are stagnant. You can't get past whatever happened to you. Whether it's in your childhood. Or whether it was with a relationship recently. I see you depressed. Withdrawn. In your emotions, all up in your head not speaking, holding things in, making things eat you up and burn you alive. But you are certainly not forgiving people. You're not forgiven. They want you to find healing. They want you to accept those things that you just cannot change, Libra. Because with the number four, if you don't, your foundation will continue to be weak. Everything you build on that foundation will be weak. It's like that story of the three little pigs. What will you build your house with? Straws, sticks, or bricks? The choice is yours. It's time to accept those things that you cannot change. For those of you that are doing it, well done. Well done. I know it's hard, it's bloody hard, but it comes a point in your life, 
to release and let go. To accept those things that you cannot change and move forward in your life. To transmute that pain and turn it into light. Make it be your driving force to bring you to where you need to go in life. To achieve whatever it is you need to achieve. To attain the healing that you know is yours. It's no fun going through life disrupted. Sad. In pain. Not being able to let go. Of the trauma, of the abuse, of the neglect, of the hurt, of the abandonment. I hear release, Libra. Release and let go. It's your time to heal now. You've been broken down to your very core. Some of you have hit rock bottom. The only way is up, my babies, it really is. You was broken down so this light could come in. The light into your situation, the light into your darkness, the light into your past. Coming in to dilute the pain, to dilute the memories. To bring back balance. To bring back balance, joy and stability into your life. I see them wanting to bring back so much harmony. Open up those chakras, allowing you to be able to flow with the energy of the universe. There goes the music turning up, Libra. I see healing for the Libras, the ones that are in pain, the ones whose lives are disrupted, not moving on, alone in their tower moment, not speaking. Allowing the pain to eat them up and overtake them and destroy their body. I see someone riddled in pain. Riddled in pain. Going to the doctors, the doctor can't find what's wrong. This is caused by your head, by your mind. By you not releasing and letting go. By your chakras being blocked up. There is a need for balance. To bring back that happiness, that joy and stability that your body needs. That you need, Libra. There is a time. It is time to address the hurt and the pain. And take back control of your life. I see someone doing the shadow work, tapping in, using that third eye energy. I see someone doing self-reflection, taking accountability, accepting those things that they just cannot change. I see you now standing in your power, controlling those thoughts, controlling your mind, controlling what you see, because for some of you what you see is the problem, this triggers you, sends you spiraling back into the past, I see you controlling who you let around you, who you give your heart to. 
who you tell your secrets to. But I see you controlling those thoughts, mastering those emotions, taking back control of your life and freeing yourself from this mental bondage that you have yourself trapped in. So I see a need to control the mind. The mind is disrupting the soul, the mind and the body. So they want you to take back control of your life, of your mind, so that your heart can heal. I see wish fulfillments coming in for you. A dream come true. You being happy again. Finding the joy in life again. Finding harmony. Allowing yourself to really be loved and loving unconditionally. I see you hitting the jackpot. Being abundant, an overflow of love, an overflow of finances, an overflow of joy and stability coming back into your life. And then I see new love coming in. No gender in tarot. Somebody falling for the person that you are. The soldier. That one that's been through everything but survived. I see you now getting clarity on your situation. Speaking your truth. Standing in your truth. And being the truth. No longer letting your past control your future or your present. Releasing and letting go what no longer serves you. Transforming and transmuting the pain into love. I see offers coming in. Real offers. The number one, new beginnings, new love. Someone offering their love to you. Transformational period. This could be you falling back in love with yourself again after years of blame, of guilt, of shame. Here you are, in love with you, having clarity about your situation, healed, at peace. But then I see just love coming in. I see someone offering you new love. Wanting to build a family. I see the heart chakra being transformed. Opening up. Bursting wide open. Like I said, giving and receiving of love. And it's just simply love. The highest energy of all Libra. Coming back into your life and with number six. I see it being so fulfilling, so rewarding, so rich. They're telling me that it's just a really well-deserved reward for you. You've been through it, man. You've been through it. And they just want to give this to you in abundance. What did I tell you? It's going to fall on your wish fulfillment card, right? After you heal, your dreams are going to come true. Whatever your dream is for you. Because it's just going to be a well-deserved reward. Something that the universe, God, believes that you deserve. For all the pain, for all the sadness. That you had to endure by yourself, alone. Not speaking out, not speaking up, not being heard, being overlooked. There you are in your pain. In your emotions, in your dark night of the souls, alone, 
sad. But I'm here to tell you, I see a turn of the tide, an ending of that cycle. I see you coming out, Libra. Coming out of that depression. Coming out of that period of lack. That abusive situation that you're not telling nobody about. I see you speaking up and getting the fuck out. Reaching for your goals again. Believing in yourself. And with the number three. You're going to do alright. You're going to be just okay. You're going to be celebrating life. I see new cycles. A release of pain. Somebody dreaming again. Somebody believing again. Somebody loving again. Somebody just reaching again. Not thinking that they're too old. They're too black. They're not educated enough. I see somebody believing in themselves. Ascending out of their pain. Out of the pit of hell. For some of you, this is your ascension process. You were broken down to your core, hitting rock bottom, because you have a mission in life. You was going through a transformational process. You was being transformed by God and Spirit themselves. You have a path, a divine purpose, I see ascension, somebody now ascending out of their pain, transcending this reality, changing their mindset, recalibrating their mind and their brain, tapping in to their intuition, transforming their life. Reaching for their goals and achieving it. Let me add, and achieving it. Achieving everything they set their mind to. This is what healing does. You see healing? That's what it does. It transforms you out of your broken place. Your lonely place. That place that you never thought you could escape from. I see you being elevated. I see promotions. Some of you are going to change your job. You're going to realize this is just not for me. Some of you are going to change your marriage, your partner. You're going to realize this is just not for me. This change is going to bring in a well deserved reward, a change of cycles, an ending of karmic cycles and the beginning of new ones it's going to be a real fertile period for you Libra I see babies birthing of new businesses somebody creating a whole new life for themselves out of nothing starting from the bottom and now you're here building back your life one day at a time, tapping in, using your God-given intuition now, trusting it, your heart chakra is bursting open, giving and receiving that highest energy, love, 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 you are aware, no longer blindfolded, no longer head in the sand, you are ascended, and with another number three, there you are, top of your game, master, boss status, owning your own business, owning your own life, and most definitely in charge of your own mind now, mastering those emotions. You have released and you have let go. You are now happy, 
find, find, finding pleasure in everything that you do. I see you bringing, I see you receiving pleasure, being happy in your life. And here's the card, because you mastered your emotions. You found out the key to releasing yourself from the prison you was trapped in, or it's trapped in now, is to master your emotions, take back control of your life, guard your heart, guard your heart like you guard your money, like you guard your kids, your heart is precious, look at that heart bursting with love, 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 because you did the shadow work people, you did it, or you're doing it now, you've been forced to do it. You've been forced to confront that man in the mirror to make the change because nothing's any clearer. Because if you want to make your world any better, it starts with you making a change in the words of Michael Jackson. And your last card, what did I tell you? Giving and receiving the highest energy, my people, of all. Love, sweet love, sweet love. That's what comes for you. Love from family. Love from that special person. But I see an offer coming in for you. With the number three, I see marriages, commitments, engagements, all of that people. We saw the baby card, fertility, so there's children at the bottom of the deck. Simply. You kick-started your healing by listening to your intuition. Not anyone else, not the pastor, not the teacher, not your mum, not your dad, but you. You started trusting you. So let's move over to your tarot quickly and see what the tarot wants to say to you, Libra, because this is going on longer than it was intended. But really, we have to be spirit led right so that's how i go like if it's gonna be if it's gonna be a, oh they dropped all the cards so whatever i have in my hand is yours people wow fucking wow that's the first there we go the ten of swords end of your pain my people this is the end of your pain the end of that dark night of the souls You've hit rock bottom. Confirmation that you have come to the end. It is now time for you to center yourself. To get yourself rooted and grounded. Prayed up. Most definitely prayed up, people. Your soul needs it. It's time to take back control of your life, people, and tap in. You have the power to manifest a whole new future. With this magician card. And here comes love. Covering all bases. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. Maybe that's the relationship that you're leaving. Or the people. Or the situation was involving these people. But I see you ending a cycle. Releasing and letting go. Finding healing. Finding balance. Stabilising yourself. Controlling your thoughts, mastering those emotions, and here you are, kapow, powerful, manifesting everything that you want, and you want love, 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 and here it is being offered to you, and that's new love, I see you releasing and letting go, surrendering to the process of being broken, to letting the light come in to change your situation, because whatever you was doing just wasn't working. There you are, growing. Growing in love. Growing in stability and abundance. I see an offer maybe from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Something that's longevity, people. It's gonna last. And here comes the offer from the Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Or maybe an investment in your business. But I see someone wanting to invest in you. Invest in your future. They believe in you. 
I see you coming out of this period of not sleeping or being depressed, trapped alone in the past, in the prison of your mind. I see you coming out. The energy I see you growing from. Now I see you watching. While your life grows abundantly, the fruits of your labor, you are now able to create, co-create, and profit. I see stability in your life, balance and harmony, you find in routine, structure, family, because you was trapped people, some of you are still here, trapped in your mind, head in the sand, not releasing and letting go, disrupted people, this is a disrupted card, eight of swords, but I see you finding balance, it's coming in people. This broken period is letting the light into your situation. It's forcing healing, whether you want it or not. I see balance coming in with the star card. I see your emotions being balanced out. I see you now in your element. It's falling under the magician. So whatever you, whatever business you're doing, whatever offer this is, I see you being very successful people and it's backed up with the six of pentacles money 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 being highly rewarded and recognized for what you do maybe you teach your pain you teach healing maybe you become a motivational speaker but I see you on stage there we go with the giving and receiving of energy again. Do you see the hands? You are offering energy and they're receiving. And you are being paid for it. So I see you being a servant. Displaying strength and being paid for it. So I see a motivational speaker. Someone putting their pain to words. Telling others their stories, inspiring, being paid highly for it, being able to save finally, save, save and own that house, that house, own property, own land, and finally get married, get married people. So I see weddings coming in. I see someone being healed because a hierophant can heal you or marry you. And here you are. New communication coming in. Someone coming to tell you exactly how they feel because it falls under this pile. So I see new love coming to tell you how they feel. So this read was amazing, people. I see so much healing and balance. And let's see what the angels want to say to you. And it's just a round up and a word of encouragement for you before I go. Because I feel like this read's gone on long enough. Let's get a word of encouragement now for Libra. And look at that. There's a card that doesn't belong here, people. Someone's feeling like they don't belong. Let's see the message for you. <clears throat> the angel May is here. It says schooling, study, and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So some of you are going back to school or need to, but really this could be just your the lessons of life. Some of you are going to be transmuting your pain, like we talked about, and using it in the future, synthesizing it into action, into knowledge 
into healing, into light. I see some of you are clear cognates. I can never say the word. They want you to pay attention to your thoughts and ideas as they come to you because they are your answered prayers, Libra. They're bringing in relationship harmony. The angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved, whether it's your mum, your dad, sister, brother, friend, uncle, whoever, your partner. They said arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now, Libra. So honor yourself and your feelings and get grounded. Spend some time alone. But you will be overcoming these difficulties, people, with your last card. The worst is now behind you. And you are surmounting any previous challenges. Wow. Fucking wow. So yeah, Libra, your girl's gonna be out. Alright, so this is your girl, D-Virgo Tarot, 2222. Sending you, Libra, love, love, and more love, my girl. We gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you gotta.